burn them. Um, I think we might have cleaned this up. Yeah, we have by the looks of it. Cool. Let's carry on. Let's try this again. What? Oh, I see. The um, the, the ice spell has a cooldown, so I can't just spam it. Even though spamming is generally my my key ability in this game. Um, oh, that's a lot of rats. Freeze them and then bust them down. That was easy enough. I expected much, much worse, admittedly. And now, Big Papa Smurf has come looking for revenge against all these little children. Well, not against. For. For his little children. Doesn't really matter. He'll be dead in a moment and we won't ever speak of him again. So let's just take him down. Oh, and we've got one blocking the bridge. Should I freeze him? Yeah, why not? Shazam! He does seem to make their attack slower as well, which is bloody useful. Man, I'm not hurting him at all. Okay, I should heal up. Freeze him! And now get around to try and take this druid out. I will use a mana potion here. Smack him down! Oh, run. Actually, get my bow up. Oh, I used another mana potion like a complete dickwad. Shoot him! Shoot him! It's not doing any damage, really. Okay, let's get back around. Hammer him in the back. Yeah! Bloody chunks. There we go. Thinned out the mob. In the back. Those things can be amazingly dangerous. Those summoning bears of the dead. If you let them... I mean, they will just keep reanimating the dead. There's no limit, by the looks of it, from what I've seen in the past anyway. It seems they'll just keep animating more and more dead bears until you take them out, basically. Let's try and get around them and freeze them in the back. And I completely missed somehow. In the back. Mallet his feet. Shatter his toes. Ruin his day. Gold. There's a lot of gold under this rock. Bloody hell. Must be the pirate cove thingy. Yeah. More dead bears. That lock golden chest. I need to find something with the key. I have stat points I can spend. Which I will do in time. Very soon. But whilst we're on a roll of slaughtering things, let's just carry on. Get out of there. Come on, robot. Heal me up. Heal me up. Don't make me use a mana potion. Or a health potion, which would probably be actually more useful. Uh, oh, he's still alive. Until now. Oh, what's that? A monstrous shrine. What the hell is that? Lead them all down this narrow path. And burn them. I should really just hit. Oh. Oh, my life's going back up quite considerably as well. Come on, give me another, give me another health uh, spurt, burst, air. Yeah, there we go. Flatten this guy and then take a look at this shrine, which might not be worth looking at. Sod it. What's there? Oh, what the hell is that? King crab thingy, magic. Run, run, run. Golden crab. Okay, well, he seems pretty slow at least. He might hit like a truck, I don't know. I'm a little bit worried. Come on. Up the hill. Up the hill. Where'd he go? He buried him. He, he buried underground. Okay. Uh, hello? Is it me you're looking for? He, 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 what? He didn't die, did he? Where'd he go? 
Is he not going to resurface? Uh, that's bloody weird. Okie dokie, I guess. Let's go and kill this pale shambler. Are you really? You're not going to come back? Well, he's probably the most intelligent of all the monsters we've fought so far. That's probably why he's the king of the crabs. Um, I guess we'll keep moving on. I'm not sure. Really? Okay. Nope, he's not coming back. By the looks of it. Maybe he'll re-emerge later on. I don't know. It's weird. It's, oh, no. This, this guy is really dangerous. And it doesn't help that he's surrounded by friends. Let's try and find somewhere more narrow to take him on. Um... The bridge. We'll make our last stand at the bridge. Freeze him. I have no mana. Till now. Come on, kill something. Whoa, no, 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 no. Let's get back over to the bridge. He's not the only one. Well, actually, I'm all right at the moment. Can't foresee that happening for very long, though. Um, actually, take, take, take a fish. Turn into a. Has he turned into a dog himself? I can't tell which one he is now, but sorry, just, just run from all of them. Round the rocks. Come on. Yeah. Back over to these ones. Boom ting. Okay. Now over to this bridge. Come on. Yep, yeah, my dog has turned. My badger has turned into a dog as well. Or one of these weird armoured war beast thingamajigs. So it might be a little hard to tell which one he is, but... Well, he's the small one now. We know that much. Oh. Let's run him around in a circle. Maybe our, our pet will take him out. Actually, let's freeze him. Um, yeah, just use a potion. Stop being cheap. Oh, he was dead anyway. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's dead now, and that's a good thing. Now, we can get some extra fish. Why not? Let's get a couple at the very least. These will make our pet turn into a significantly more dangerous bastard. A vampiric spider egg. Cool. Also, you can get equipment out of these things sometimes. A critter stub. I don't know what the hell that is. Actually, I think that's something for our pet's neck. Stop playing with me. Go on, get there. There you go. A prismatic mori. Come on. Yeah, my boy. Another vampiric spider egg. I think it was. That is. Trying to fool me out here, boy. Unidentified boots. A war snout. Yeah, I might as well just finish it. I might as well just get all the fish I can. Because I don't know when I will encounter more of these holes. These fishing holes, that is. A bone fish. I don't know what that I don't know what most of these do actually. I should probably try them out. A web fish, which turns our fish, our fish, which turns our pet into a spider, which is bloody useful. The slowing effect on them is really useful. I can't recall seeing any other creatures so far with any effects on them. A big tunnel shark, but I'm sure they exist. I just haven't so far encountered them. Smack! Boom! Wallop! Down. Cool. Q -q -q. It's not a good day for you to be alone. Versus a dog, a madman, and a robot. It's just like someone was trying to hunt these because they left the trap right outside their cave. We're just wading through them at the moment. Just wading through them, which is fine. 
Find my me, as I say all the bloody time. Um, doesn't mean we can't be killed, but right now we're pretty safe. We'll get to the more dangerous areas soon. Soon enough. And then we can start worrying and screaming our heads up. Um, these guys are all pretty, pretty weak. By our all powerful standards. 28 gold. Oh, zebra guys. These these guys hit like trucks. Or at least I think they do. I'm not sure if I've ever actually been hit by one before. Because they look like they hit like trucks. I prefer not to get anywhere near them. Oh, here we go. Here are two bosses. Stenburn and the other one. The less popular one. That's why he always goes second. But it's, the other one's actually more intelligent. Because uh, he lets this guy see if... Uh, See how dangerous the enemy is. He lets him wade in and get into fights he perhaps shouldn't be in. Come on, Stenburn, you bastard. He didn't hit that hard. Oh, that might be a bit worse. No, wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Let's freeze him. Get down there, freeze him. Run! Oh, he's almost dead. Handy. Let's let our mana get up a bit. Let's try and lure him into this trap. Oh, come on, come on, boy. There we go. Oh, didn't hurt him. Oh, he's almost dead. Let's finish him. 240 fame. And now we'll go and kill his brother. Because we are such lovely people like that. Uh, is there anything else I want to get? I might get some more heavy lifting. That stun chance is pretty cool. Attack speed is always good. Yeah, heavy lifting. Heavy lifting. Um... It's pretty cool that you don't have to keep recasting this healing bot. It just seems to stay permanently for each section of the map. Um, 16 health potions, full health, yep. Oh, you know what? Oh, let's kill this guy quickly. Ooh, okay. Better legs. That is a better bow. Um, better hat. Mr. Mr. Honey Badger, is this of any use to you? Yep, it's already put on him. Excellent. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, and take that. Get out my bloody way. I'm trying to sort out my damn inventory. That's what you get. Turn into a chunky one. Uh, Vampiric spider eggs, two of them, bonefish. I'll save these. I've only got one of each of them. Also, that's quite nice. Prismatic Mori gives you tons of extra elemental power. I'll save these for more significant fights. Let's just go and smash this guy's head in. Gunbren! We meet again! These guys aren't particularly hard at the moment, which is nice, fine, but uh, they, they have been in the past. I've been killed by them a few times. Is on um, it is on hardcore difficulty, is it not? I mean, hardcore difficulty. It's on elite. There we go. Yep, it's on elite. Cool. Oh shit! Oh, he's almost dead. Smack! Health potion. Health potion. Smack! Down. Cool. We are mass exterminating these bears at the moment. Complete bear genocide. Whole towns of bears just wiped from the face of the earth in the name of in the name of gold and loot, basically. Oh, we've got some electric rattlings at the moment. That means if we hit them, they let out electric pulses. We do have a leader as well, so this is a well-trained gang of them. To stand our ground and smack them in the face. Ugh. This guy's quite tough, actually. He doesn't hit very hard, mind you. He doesn't hit hard at all. It's getting close. Let's make it personal. Boom! There we go. More health potions. I will not complain about health potions. Take as many as I can get. They're pretty expensive, actually. 58 gold apiece. I mean, it's not too bad. Sure, we'll get more money in the future, but as we move into the future and get more money the health potions that will need to keep our life at a decent level get more expensive as well 
schematics trunk. And in here we find the armor schematics, which we can take back to town and get some experience and maybe some better loot for, as always. Run through these bear traps. Why have they got so many bear traps in a town full of bears? I mean... Maybe... Ooh! And that... That's why. So you question... You question them, and in those moments of... Of foolish... Contemplation, you get ripped apart... By evil... Itself. Wonderful. Well done. 